Okay, yeah, so Prodigy Magic Refilled. Hopefully how you guys can get access to it, right? Did you guys know that Prodigy has been hiding a huge feature from its older players? Yes, you've heard that right, Prodigy has been hiding a huge feature from its previous old players, right? So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm quickly gonna show you guys what this huge feature is that you have been hiding from us, and hopefully how you guys can get access to it, right? Alright, so in order to see what this huge thing even is, you have to create a new Prodigy account because the old accounts don't actually even have access to it, right? So upon creating a new Prodigy account, you have to do this. And if you get through this, what you guys will see is it'll tell you to go through all of these things. So just click on whatever you guys want and click the next button. Alright, just choose a grade. Let's make life a little bit easier. Right? And right, as you can see, now that we've logged in, first of all, over here, this doesn't look too different, we've just been given ourselves a new different type of color palette and everything, it's not- wait what? There's balls? And right, you guys can see they've given everyone a new selection of what they can choose, and you can basically customize your wizard, but everything over here is pretty basic. Right, next it tells you the more button and you can choose any world which you want, so that's interesting, that's an update which they did. But now, let's see what happens from our starter home. Everything over here is fine, but you guys will see something insane. Prodigy will actually allow you to choose who you want to attack. Yeah, you'll be allowed to choose who you want to attack. You won't be like stuck in a rigid system where you're like, no, you cannot do that. Right, as you guys can see over here, we've got our first opponent, and now we're gonna have our first look at this new battle system, which they introduced, right? So it goes all the way to the academy, I don't know what occurs after that, but I really do want to know. So right, first of all, you guys can already see wizard battle, we start off, right, so over here you guys can see it basically tells us our weaknesses, right? Our wizard is weak to some circle-y thingy, and our opponent on the other hand is weak to Astral, who knew? Now, it also seems like we have a spell book and a spell which we need to cast. You can just click on the opponent to cast the spell. I mean, just look at how simple this looks. And it seems like two boxes have appeared underneath our health bar, and oof, okay, the health bar even indicates how close to not being alive our opponents are. So it seems like our boxes here, we need to click on them, and now we get, uh, get magic? What? Oh my god, Party has changed everything so much. So you guys can see, we gain ourselves two magics instantly, and then we can cast our attack, and then we can cast our attack, so this is kinda insane. But the thing is, does it keep track of your magic, and it shows us powerful and stuff. There's a whole lot of new animations over here, I'm really hoping that in this new version it's actually like this. It makes the game a little bit, um, it makes it more fun to play. Gained 20 power, what? Wait, 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 what do they mean by gain 20 power? What sort of new system did they- hold up. Is- did they like change Prodigy so like the old version of Prodigy just has weird old updates? Okay, now I need actually need to see what's going on. Right, you guys can see everything's been going on, but who do we collect, right? Over here you see we get ourselves a plethora of options, and obviously I know who I'm gonna collect, it's- well, basically. Over here, let's click on Charful, let's go into a battle. They haven't changed this, but I really do want to see what the two-person battle looks like. Because it's been shown that in the Academia, Academy, I guess you could say, it was pretty interesting that we could choose. Right, so it seems like when we start off into a battle, our opponents actually... Our opponents actually casted their spell. And I guess we really don't have to do much. Honestly, this is quite interesting. I want to see what happens when we get a 4-person spell. Okay, so our opponents cast their... Uh, uh -huh. Okay, I did not see that one coming at all. It seems like our opponents can actually fumble in their attacks. I mean, sometimes their spells would miss, but I did not expect it to be like fumble or anything like that. That was completely unexpected, but over here you guys can also see how powerful your spell is and what your spell is called. It seems like- oh, oh yeah, okay, we can collect a pit. We can only get 10 of them, which is a little sad, but as you guys can see, we can just break the trap which it's under, just like that, kaboom. You know, this is kind of feeling a- I, I haven't played Pokemon, so I can't make any comparisons, but this is what I'd imagine it would feel like. 
Okay, so you get yourself the stars over here. So far, there's been no mention of member stars in the beginning of the game, which I find a little bit odd, but who knows? Prodigy is doing Prodigy. And all of a sudden, we're teleported straight to the Great Hall of the Cat. Wait, Great Hall or Grand Hall? I really did not read that quick properly. And we seem to have made it to the Academy, an earthquake happens, let's just speed through this because I want to test out the battle. And also the switching of your pet system, I really want to test that out. Right over here you can see we have the 4 or 5 Warden Gems, I believe. Right, so we just continuously go up and over here we see that there is the Pippets. Pippets will be coming down from the staircase. And so will the Puppet Master. Well, the Puppet Master will be followed by Pippets, I believe. Yes, yes he will. And over here, you guys can see they're having a uh, beautiful conversation, they notice us. And now we're stuck in a battle against two monsters, I believe. Yes, 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 okay. This is where I really wanted to test. Hold on. Hold on, hold, hold, a, se hold on a second. What in the world? What? Wait. Wait, wait, uh, huh? Wait, wait, does that mean we get to switch through our pets? What? what? As you guys can see, I'm definitely confused because I uh, did not see this coming. Okay, so let's see. I, I don't think Pachi would just change it rapidly. Okay, so I... Oh, we might have to answer multiple questions based on how many pets we have. And like, both people cast an attack. That's an, that's an interesting thing which Pachi has done. And that over there, with the 36, but yeah. Okay, yeah, so Prodigy, magic refilled, but only of the pony. Now, what is this? Why cannot we ca- Oh, it says it has a turn, and in return, we can only cast a small tread attack. Although, I mean, I guess their animations, I they did take away the animations in the game, which kind of makes me sad, because no more animations, no! See, it means we have no more attacks, like the fancy attack animations. But still, I mean, it, this looks pretty cool, I'd say. Maybe if they added some, like, you know, like this guy's attack animation. The Charful just turns around and, like, yeah, that, that's not too great, but, you know. Our wizard-type attack animations would be pretty cool. Now, I wonder what happens to the turn-based attacks. Like, do they refill after some time? Or, like, what's going on here? Because Prodigy hasn't told us out front what's happening. Right, so it tells us that we've gained new stuff and, well, attacks and, well the sorts but we haven't really been given a choice to select wait 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 wait. Could we select who we would be fighting against please don't tell me that the pippet decided to oh okay you didn't i really do not want you to go into a pippet battle right there so right first of all you guys can already see wizard battle we start off right so over here you guys can see it basically tells us our weaknesses right our wizard is weak to some circley thingy and our opponents on the other hand is weak to astral who knew now, it also seems like we have a spell book and a spell which we need to cast. You can just click on the opponent to cast the spell. I mean, just look at how simple this looks. 